I just invite you to just begin to bring your mind into the room where you are, onto your mat or your chair or wherever it is you find yourself seated. And just begin to breathe long and easy. In the nose and out the nose for the for starters. Maybe closing the eyes. And think about what in your life brings you support. How are you supported? It can be as simple as that we actually live on the planet Earth and the Earth supports us in so many ways. It supports us as we're sitting here. If we didn't have the Earth, what would we be sitting on? It supports us because it grows our food. So think of, you can think of the macro or the micro in terms of what is support in your own life. Shoulders roll to the, to the ears and then back, down the back. In nice, easy pose. Again, the belly button comes toward the spine. A strong core supports a strong back. Bring the breath deep into the belly. Even let it swirl around, if you can imagine that swirling around, that deep, low back area, the area of the sacrum. Last week we worked with the first chakra, the root chakra. You can bring that breath all the way down into the root chakra at the base of the spine bringing fresh energy, energy there. And then exhaling out all the old energy that might be just lurking there. Re-energizing that area with new, fresh circulation. These moments just for you. Releasing everything else that has to happen today. The to do the to do your to-do list just doesn't come into our yoga practice here. It's just the here on the mat and the now with your breath. Reminding that the word yoga means union. It means the joining of the breath and the body, the breath with the mind, and the mind with the body. Breathe in, a nice, long, tall spine, and let's begin. So I may be repeating myself, we're gonna do a nice class today that focuses our attention on our low back. Whether you have any issues with the low back or with, sci with sciatica or not, lucky you if you don't. But we're going to be very intentional about the way we move and the way that we support ourselves today. So breathing in, bring the breath all the way into that low back. And then let it come all the way back up the spine and out the crown of the head. Breathing in the nose and out the nose. Again, a long, tall breath into the base of the spine. Bringing fresh energy to that area of the back. And letting it go. Opening up space for energy to move. The whole reason behind the healing method of energy medicine yoga. Breathe in and exhale. We are do the wake up this morning with the five element flow breaths. So each of the breaths relates to each of the seasons and also an emotion. 
whenever we have pain or um, uh, sensation that is tension or less than ease in our body, along with it comes emotion. So, peer can, so pain can bring fear. It can also, you know, if you're in pain a lot, you can, you can kind of feel like you're closing in on yourself, maybe even a little bit of anger, a little bit of anxiety, hard to prioritize self-care, and then a little bit of not really knowing how to release all of that. So we'll do the wake up this morning with the five sounding breaths out loud to release those emotions and let the opposite of those emotions flow in. Breathe in and then exhale through the mouth. Trace the collarbones, finding the notch here at the center at the notch of the throat and then come about an inch down and maybe about an inch over and begin to tap here on those high kidney points. Breathing the energy up and moving forward. Breathe in the nose. Exhale. As though you're blowing out a candle. One more time, breathe in. Exhale and we're moving fear. So we can invite in courage. One more breath. Come to the middle of the chest here. Breathe in. This is over the thymus gland and we're enlivening the immune system here. And breathe out with the sound as we move any residual anger out and we leave space for standing in who we are. Inhale and exhale. See if you can feel the energy of all these breaths moving out of that low back space. One more time, breathe in. And exhale, a nice strong. Tracing the rib cage to the spleen points where the energy of metabolism lies. Metabolism, metabolizing all we bring in to our lives. Breathe in here. And exhale with the ha sound. And the ha sound is for the fire element. And that is so we can move any anxiety around chronic pain, anything low back related. Breathe in. Let the breath go all the way to the low back. And then exhale. Shake that off, bring the hands and the top to underneath the pupils on the cheekbones, that stomach point which grounds us deeply into the earth. First close the eyes and feel yourself sink into the supportive energy of the earth. Breathe in and we'll breathe with the ujjayi breath, which is the same breath as a ha sound with the mouth closed. So kind of like that Darth Vader sound. Ready, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And this moves in the energy of self-love. Being able to prioritize putting our needs first. What does our body need? How can we take care of ourselves as well as we can take care of others? Let's do one breath, one more breath here. We can all use a little more TLC from ourselves to ourselves. Breathe in the nose. Exhale. Like a humming sound. Shake that off. Bring the palms to the thighs. Roll the shoulders up, belly button to spine, and just notice. And as you breathe in, you'll exhale with the sound of S. S. And this moves the energy of stuckness where we don't know how to release. Release, letting, release the old concept of pain and just let the newness of fresh energy in. Breathe in, exhale. 